can't be a better way of photographing dippers right down at their level right in their world and right in the river <laughs> fantastic wildlife photography film right well whoa, I'll tell you what we are doing we're getting eaten alive by these midges but uh, we'll have to put up with that today not brought any midge repellent but never mind right as you can see what we're next to we're um, we're after an aquatic bird now where are we we're up in the trough of Borland absolutely what a stunning place this is only three quarters of an hour for me and I don't spend enough time up here to be honest it's uh, it's a pretty iconic landscape to be honest with uh, N areas up here there's, there's there's all sorts of stuff there's even uh, I believe some eagle owls some wild eagle owls but I've never seen them myself but uh, that's another story so today next to the river we're after dippers now this particular river it's absolutely perfect for dippers it's it's absolutely bang on we've got that combination of fast running um you know waterfall bits and then we've got little eddies and there's there's natural food sources it's just perfect for dippers and i've photographed them here only on one occasion i've not done a lot of dipper photography to be quite honest i've seen them a lot i've uh, and I've always fancied having a good go with him. So I had a do last week, came up here, and I got some pretty decent shots, but it brought up an issue for me. And that's the issue that we're addressing today. So what we're gonna do, first off, we'll have a walk down the river and have a look at some of the best places or places that I think would make a, a good dipper image. Now, one of the first things that you look for when, you, when you're looking for dippers is obviously once you've spotted the bird is trying to find a favourite rock that they, they kind of perch on. So that can, be, um, that can be identified by droppings. Usually there's one particular rock that they'll like and there'll be white droppings on it. So that's a potential for um, a photography spot. But it's also, it's got to kind of look right as well. You know, it's got to be in the right setting. So what makes a good dipper image now? Is it, is it a flight shot or is it one stood on the rock? Is it one where they, they, they tend to just hold their wings like that and uh, just open them up a bit? Is it that? Is it where they're, you know, they're bobbing up and down or in the water feeding? Well, to be honest, all them, can, <laughs> all them types of images can make a, a good shot. But the key for me is to be down at eye level. And that's the issue that I'm hoping to address today. Because when I were here last week, it was difficult to get down to the, the water level. And it kind of gave me an idea. One of my silly ideas was to get in the water. Now, there's a couple of ways we can do this. We can either get a dry suit on or even a wetsuit, but it's going to be uncomfortable. You're not going to want to spend much time in the water. So we've sacked that idea off. You can actually lie, you know, pretty much on the rocks, but it's, again, it's difficult to get down to that particular eye level. I wanted to get down to the water level. So I came up with this airbrain scheme and we've ended up with the dipper deck. <laughs> so effectively, it's a wooden platform 
with adjustable legs and I'm going to put it in the actually in the stream just above water level so I've got a um, I've got a, a multi mat a mat that I can lie on I've made a camo blanket if you will to go over the top of that then I'm going to get on the on the dipper deck I'm then at the perfect height I'm actually at water level I'm going to utilize the uh, the bean bag uh, the big ghillie blanket that I have and we're just going to we're going to get really concealed so we're going to be actually look like we're floating on that that's the idea we're look, going to look like we're floating on the surface of the stream and then hopefully as long as the dippers don't land on me and they land a bit further up where I want them to we'll get some good images won't we so <laughs> that's the plan it might be I don't know I can see me getting wet here but uh, it's not it's not a really deep uh, deep beck so so we're going to be all right. We'll, we're going to be all right. So, folks, this is what I've come up with. This is my idea. Let's get the legs out. Right, so what it is, it's effectively, it's nothing fancy this isn't at all, <laughs> it's just a wooden platform, looks like a garden gate really. Now I had, um, it had an old fishing box, an old Shakespeare fishing box and it had a, it had a leg system on it called an octopus. So I've sacrificed it. I needed I needed a way of adjusting the height uh, for this platform. You know, it's I mean the thing is with a riverbed, it's it's not a uniform um, uniform base, is it? So you're gonna have you know parts where it's higher and lower and etc. You want but you want your your platform level. So I sacrificed the uh, the fishing the fishing box base and uh, got me saw out and spent an hour or so knocking this up and I put a leg on each corner so that's going to be that's going to be the leg it's it should work I mean <laughs> we'll see in a minute won't we but um, yeah we've got a bit of movement there we've got a bit of lateral movement that way so the feet you know the nice nice size foot on it it should sit on the riverbed quite nicely and all they do they just uh, one in each near enough the corner and then you just adjust the height and that's the idea we're going to um, I'm going to just drag it down there we're going to see it you know see if we can uh, get it to sit sit level and then we'll have a look down and uh, find a, a likely spot where I'd like to photograph the birds and we'll uh, we'll get this set up as well It's important that each foot is firmly planted. You don't want it on a little rock that's just going to tip over and you know lose your balance. So I'm just going around each corner, making sure that. See, that's a bit sketchy that one. We don't want to be testing the uh, the waterproof rating on this camera. Not in middle of the river anyway. Just gotta be careful how I kneel down so <laughs> so the hot water don't go down my wellies. So that's the that's the platform set up. Literally, I don't know, an inch inch above of water level. And it's it's fine, it's sturdy. 
So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get me, I want to be comfy, you know, I don't want to be just led on that all day long. So, well, not on the bare wood anyway. So I'm going to put my uh, inflated mattress on here, and then I've got a camo cover. I'm going to put the camo cover on. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to, well, I've not seen any dippers yet. So whether it's, uh, hopefully it don't put them off. But I'm in the I'm in a perfect spot here. So I've got the I've got like the, the rapids coming down and I'm literally right in, right in the centre of the river. So it should be a it should be a good spot. I mean if they land on them rocks in front, I'll get some absolutely belting images, you know, with that, that nice image separation as well, which is a, a big consideration for me on the on the micro four thirds. So yeah. Okay, so we've got the uh, we've got the deck set up. We've got it nice and nice and level. It took a bit of doing, to be honest, because uh, I really wanted to make sure that the feet were were nicely planted, and uh, you know they weren't gonna they weren't gonna shift when I were on on the actual deck. So, what are we actually looking for for a good spot for for dippers? Well, like I said before, you want. You want to try and find an area, obviously, where they're, they're knocking about, and one of the best ways is to find that, that rock where the droppings are. And there's a few down here, but um, besides that, I want, you know, I want a good, a good area. There might be a, a rock that's got the droppings on, but it might not be. Uh, I don't know. It might just might not suit the picture that I'm after. But what I really want, uh, what I really, really want, is. <laughs> Or some running water. I want the dipper to be stood on a rock. I don't want much, do I? But uh, you know, you've got to have an idea in your head, haven't you? You've got to have a vision, and that's what we're uh, that's what we're doing. I want a particular type of image. So that's what we're going to go for. If it comes off, it comes off. Um, so we've got this particular particular spot here that is it's superb. We've got a lovely bit of running running water down there. So let's let's go and have a closer look at that. I mean, this would be this would be fantastic. This would be ideal. Um, you can see there, you know, that particular rock. It's only the water is only just breaking over it. So if we get a dipper stood on there, but this is the bit that I'm a little bit more interested in, just a bit further up. I'm trying to not get this water coming over my welly bobs. So here we go. I just shaking a bit wooden here, but uh, right. So like I said, this is the this is the kind of angle you want to be at. You want to be right down at water level, and we've got this amazing little waterfall just coming down here. We've got some nice green algae-covered rocks. Now I've seen uh, last time I was down here, I saw. I saw the dipper stood on that rock, that would make a lovely shot. All these stones down here, they were working, whoop, they were working the way up the stream. So I could have got a whole horse. I did get some nice shots, but I were uncomfortable. And I wasn't as low down as what I wanted to be. So that's the that's the idea of today's crazy adventure. And uh, we'll see if it works, eh? We'll see if it comes off. Hopefully it does. I'll tell you what I did see uh, last week when I was down here, and I was, I was gobsmacked to be honest. Them rocks there, I saw um, a stoat on, on it. I was just sat kind of 90 degrees to the river, and um, just out the corner of my eye, I saw this thing moving on the rock, and there was a stoat right on that, on that big rock there. Couldn't believe it. And then it jumped about five foot onto the banking, so. It's, oh, my ass has gone in water. Um, <laughs> I knew that happened at some point today. Sat in water. Um, so I'm going to keep my eyes open for that because I reckon it's a, a regular crossing point. It must know that it can cross the river at this point. Now, whether it does or not, I don't know, but something to watch out for. That would be fantastic to get a stoat jumping in midair. So this is where we're going to concentrate. We're going to get on, on the deck. Um, and get the mat on now, get the camo on, see what happens. So 
that's the uh, that's the mat. I'm just going to tentatively just get on it. I'd rather try it now while I've no camera on me. That's all right. And then what I've done, I've just made a camo sheet just to try and just to try and give it a little bit of concealment, but most of the concealment will come from the, the ghillie blanket. It's not exactly made it invisible, but it's a bit more, all the, as much concealment as we can. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put, um, what I am going to do, I'm going to put me uh, understory blanket, well, me, you know, me, uh, like a scrim net, me trigger pan one, I'm going to put that on first, get me on, then the ghillie blanket on top of that. I'll probably have a dip, dipper sat on my head by the time I've got that much camo on. <laughs> so, this is the uh, trigger pan understory. All I'm using this for really is just to kind of disguise them legs. I know it probably, it probably won't make any difference to be honest, but you know what I mean? And it doesn't matter if it, uh, if it gets wet, I'm not fussed about that. Try and even it out a bit. Obviously the legs are at different heights, but if they're, you know, showing, you might just spot it. Probably not, but it all helps, doesn't it? I'm just going to shoot off the beanbag for now, but for doing, obviously, because I'm going to try and do some video as well, I've got my little, my little frying pan thing that I made. So it's just an upside down frying pan and I've got my video head on there. Um, I'll probably just... Well, ah, oh, watch it out, like I can just sit that on my beanbag. Yeah, link in the description below. <laughs> Get them ordered now for Christmas. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to shoot off. Happy days. Here we are, pretty much sorted now. I found my glove, <laughs> found it, and then dropped it in the river. What a plonker. So, yeah, it's, uh, the view is perfect. It's absolutely bang on. It's just what I wanted to be able to get down to that level, that water level, practically. I know it's not, you know, I can, what I can do, if I wanted to, is just move the bean bag, put the camera there, use the articulated screen, and I'm I am right at water level. I've just got to be really careful that I don't uh, don't put the front of the the lens into the water. But for now, just sat on that bean bag, I'm at a great level, and it uh, it gives me a really nice perspective. Suited with the camo, um, it's a, it's a little bit tricky to be honest. Helps having the uh, the ghillie coat on because then I don't have to drag the you know the the full blanket over me. But I've got my legs covered now, and yeah, it's just a case of waiting. As I was setting up, two kingfishers shot right up the stream. It looked fantastic, like a couple of little blue jet fighters. Brilliant, but I, I don't envisage them landing to be honest because there's no 
I don't know, they must be heading up for some slack water. They're not be interested down here where water's running fast. But uh, yeah, be nice to see that uh, that start. Well, it'd be nice to see anything, wouldn't it? But it's been a bit, uh, yeah, took a bit of setting up. But well, it always takes more time when you're filming and all. But yeah, the lights, the lights, lovely. A little bit, little bit harsh at the moment. But I'm hoping there's a bit of cloud up there. I'm hoping a bit of cloud comes over. But it'd just be nice to see them. You know, if I could get one right in front of you, oh, it'd be awesome. Yeah, so up to now, the old dipper decks, <laughs> well, it's supporting me in the water. Now, whether I get any pictures off it is another thing, but yeah, it's a good crack, in it? It's just a laugh. I have these mad ideas and uh, usually, it's usually at night time when I'm at work and uh, I try and get my head down. I get one of these ideas in my head. I can't, uh, <laughs> oh, can't get it out of my head. But you've just got to, you just got to make it happen, haven't you? You know, if you get these crazy ideas, they just have a go at it, and you never know, it might just come off. It might just pay dividends. Oh, glad I found my glove. Lucky gloves. Tommy Dick fingers. Find them in a wheelie bin. Two snooker balls for eyes. <laughs> no, if you don't watch Phoenix Nights, you won't get that. Those of you that haven't watched it, it's a comedy treat. The genius of Peter K. Right, come on, Dippers, where are you?
don't know about you, but I'm going to call that a resounding success because it's uh, it's done exactly what I wanted it to do, which were keep me dry, well, relatively dry, and um, it's kept me at that level, you know, at the at the water. I've got some I've got some really nice footage. I've got some nice stills as well. So yeah, I'm well chuffed. Um, if you're going to make one. I'll put the sizes on the screen now. Don't make it too small. All right. You're better off making it on the uh, on the larger side, so that you've got a little bit of room to manoeuvre. This is just right. It's perfect. Um, so I'll put the like I said. I'll put the uh, the dimensions on the screen. But yeah, it's been a laugh. It's been <laughs> it's been a right good crack, and um, it's done. Like I said, it's just done exactly what I wanted it to do. I mean, you don't have to put it in the middle of the river. I mean, I'm just kind of putting it in here just to show you the uh, you know what what you can do with it but it could go at the side you know where it's because it's just uncomfortable lead on rocks and this has been great because I'm led on me on my mat and uh, it's nice and flat I'm not having to you know adjust my position and you know my legs going dead because I'm you know led on a on an uncomfortable rock it's just been fine it's been absolutely great so that's it for this one uh, I keep I keep looking up and down the river because the uh, the dippers keep whizzing up and down. So I've not finished yet. I'll do a, I'll do a bit more after I've finished filming this. But um, yeah, thanks very much. Thanks for the support. It's superb. Um, if you haven't subscribed, it's really helpful if you could subscribe to the channel. And if you just flick that bell icon, and then every time I put a film out, you'll get a little notification, uh, an email, I think it is, and then you can watch the next film. But yeah, something like this, it's just great fun and uh, it's a, it, you know, it's a practical idea. It was, it came about, I mean, what did they say? Um, is it necessity is the mother of invention? And it's proved that way this time. You know, I needed to, to make something to, to keep me level, get me down to, uh, down to the water level and get these dipper shots and it's worked perfectly. I'm going to be using this quite a bit. I mean, you could use it down on the coast you could you could use it you know on a pond environment or on the marshes loads of different uh, you know scenarios which you could use a, an adjustable platform like this obviously if it's deeper water you you're only going to be able to go in water so deep um, but this is i don't know probably about eight to eight to ten inches is the maximum depth so for a stream like this it's absolutely perfect so anyway that's it for this one thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. See you now. Thank you.